Hi everybody, Vanessa Moore here, an independent beauty guide with Limelight by Alcom. Today I'm going to do the Harvest Sky look, which has the pretty browns and reds and golds. That was the winner, that was when we had the most votes on. Um, I already did a full face of makeup, I will be taking off the lip color. Just wanted to let you guys, to show you guys that this lip color lasted all day. You can see, I mean, obviously, I ate and drank all day. I ate a muffin this morning. I had a sandwich for lunch. So I was eating, and a lot of it's still on, especially up here. These Enduring Lip Colors, they last. They went through, it lasted the whole day. I put on 8 o'clock this morning, and actually a little before that. And it lasted the day. My eyeliner is from this morning. I haven't touched up a thing. Um, makeup probably, now it's a little shiny. Powder probably rubbed, came off by now. But... I did get a couple of you guys asking if uh, my picture was filtered. They're not. Any filters I use, I use just for background. Um, maybe lighting if it's a dark picture. Um, I do wipe my teeth a little bit, but I never touch the face. Unless I'm using one of those fun Facebook, Snap, not the Snapchat, you know, those apps. Then I did that once because it was fun. But you can tell it's fake. Um, I don't filter the face. I want you guys to see what I'm wearing. So. This is all me. Makeup lasted. So I'm going to take this off because I want to do... I hope it'll come off. Um, I don't have my line my makeup removers with me. So hopefully this will do the trick. So Harvest Guy. Let's see what we'll do with that. I want to do a fall lip color. Okay, here we go. And actually, purple could work with fall, but it's not in the palette, so... Um, and since I want to make sure it comes off tonight, we're going to just put some concealer as a base. Hey, Alex. How are you, girly? I could use probably some of your eyeshadow tricks right now. Because I'm going to attempt to do this look. <laughs> your tricks would really help me. But let's see how this goes. Let's see how the lighting is. Um, okay, it's a little bit better. I may... Start to melt in front of you, FYI. Turn it down a little bit. All right. So, just gonna take a little bit of concealer. <laughs> I have yet to try your enduring lip color as eyeshadow because that scares me. And that's pretty bold of you. Okay, I think I put too much concealer. You'd think. Well, I've been using this concealer very long. I got it probably in May. I'm still learning. A little goes a long way. So I need to start using less and adding to it. So this I'm just going to use as a base. I'm using number three. So to highlight what I have. Light. I'm trying to put my eye out. Okay. So the one this Harvest Guy has is Cream Boat, which I do not have. It's this one on the sheet. So I don't have Cream Boat. I actually only have one of the colors on here. But we're going to improvise. And we're going to use... Want to bring another one? Oh, right here. One of my Urban Decay Naked palettes. Ready? Um, yeah, no. No. You may have to do it live again so I can see. So I can get your tips. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and use the Naked Smoky. And we're going to use number 13, or name 13 at the end. And we're going to use that as cream boat. So. I love these palettes. I have them all. My favorite one are the first two. You can tell because they're used. What I like about Lime Lives is guess what? When this one runs out like this one's my favorite in the Naked 2 palette. And when that runs out, I either have to buy it alone or these aren't refillable. With Lime Life's, one runs out, pop it out of the back, and you refill it and you don't have to change the whole thing. That's my favorite thing about these. And they don't have all out. It's my other favorite thing. Alright, so we're going to grab, and we're just going to put it all over the lid and everything. We're just gonna start. I used to just go from light to dark and do my own things, and then I saw some makeup artist tricks and tips and tricks. 
It says start light and build up to the dark. I'm like, okay, so let's try that. So, okay, so just put that all over the lid. It also has, so the colors it has are number three, Blondie, which I don't have either, but I have one similar. 24, which is Pretty Penny, which I don't have either, but I have one similar. <laughs> uh, 17 is Raspberry Beret, which I do have. That one, such a pretty color. Then 20 is Rose Colored Glasses, and it looks kind of purplish here, but it's like a shimmery brown. So we're going to go with one similar to that. And then 13 is Centerfold. Oh yeah, the one I have is pretty yellow, like blondy. Centerfold I don't have. We're gonna go with the Spring Palette one, which is Mar Pure Marigold, I think. So we're gonna use that one. And then 38, which is Cream Bow, which I just used a Urban Decay one. So um, let's go ahead and put what they call Blondie. Hey Val. They call Blondie, and I'm gonna use this by Sephora. Oh my god, this one pie has almost every color you can think of. It comes in a set of threes. So it's the eyeshadows, and then so for the the crease and the lid and then the um, eyebrow, and then it has some lip glosses. So anything you can think of, I think is so cool. It also comes with this little travel thing. I gotta have this thing forever, so you can just, they pop out. pops out. So we're going to use this for Blondie and we're going to use that for rose colored glasses. Yeah. All right. So then I have to keep this big old thing on my lap. <laughs> Trying to work from that. So, okay. So we're going to go ahead and put some Blondie or I don't know what color this is. Sephora's yellow. You know, I've had it forever and I used to wear it a lot more. Okay, it's not as yellow as I thought it might be. But that's okay. We're gonna go with it. This is gonna come right off. Right? These colors, too, they come perfectly matched for you to do a little eyeshadow thing. They're really cool. I used to use them a lot more. I have such a ton of makeup I don't use, so I'm trying to use what I have. We're gonna put that all over the lid. I think you can carry this. You can put two different eyeshadows and lip gloss if you want, and then carry it with you and do touch ups. Because these aren't as pigmented as I thought they might be, but, and that box was like 20 bucks, so, you know. Can't beat the price. Okay. That's enough of that color. So let's mix a little bit of what would be rose colored glasses. <laughs> this one. Put that in the crease. This look like a light color. Hey, Amanda. Okay. And as soon as we're done with this, this makeup's all coming off. <laughs> Tired. I got up this morning, went to the gym. I was like, hey, going at night. So I dragged my butt up this morning, even though I didn't want to. But I went. Okay, this color's super light, but that's okay. We're just gonna. Put another color over. Ooh, I think we'll put raspberry berry over and then we'll put the brown. So this one's rose colored glasses, similar to what I would think you need. Wow, this one has like zero pigment. And I put base. Stick to Urban Decay. Okay. So one of the colors I actually do have. Raspberry Berry. This one. My favorite things, hey Trina, about oops, our eyeshadows. Because they don't have fallout. And use such a little bit. I'm gonna show you. Like. See, that's actually probably too much. I'm gonna get a lot. That's okay. We're gonna just put that in the crease. I think all the layers hopefully will help tone this down. Yeah. I use this color for 4th of July makeup. <sighs> Didn't think red and blue make purple when you blend. FYI. I'm just going to put all this in the crease. 
and we're going to add what would be pretty penny. I think that's all the colors. Oh no, I need the orange one. Oh, I should have put that on. I'll put the orange right here. That's what we'll do. We'll put the orange in there. I forgot the orange. Should have put that first, but it's okay. So who is ready for fall? I am so over summer. It has been so hot. And I'm done. I'm over this 90 degree weather though. It's supposed to be 90 degrees again. I'm ready to put my sweater dresses and leggings back on and be comfy. Although my office is freezing. So I could wear that to work and be good all day as long as I don't leave the office. You leave the office and yeah, then it's hot. Okay. I don't have issues with my right side. Okay, so we're gonna... So I saw this trick also to keep your eye open so you see the color and your eyes open. If you close your eye, you can't tell where you're putting it. But when it's open, you can see where you're putting it, so. All right, that's good enough. So. Let's get from our spring palette. We're gonna use this one instead of the orange because I don't have a centerfold. So this maybe not be the right orange, but that's okay. So it's pure marigold. It's a really pretty palette, and that orange is super pretty. It's just I don't think as orangey as this look calls for. That's okay. We're gonna work with what I got. And what I got, pure marigold. <laughs> so let's add that to oh. <sighs> I will learn about the pigment. Do you see all that eyeshadow flying around coming off the brush? Let's add that to right here. Okay, so it must be staying on the brush. It's just why I don't layer colors. It makes it a little harder to see. I will blend this all together better, I promise. <laughs> right now it's going to be mess. All right. It's definitely a good fall look, especially once we blend in the brown. This one's the most colorful, I think, of all the fall looks that they pre kind of pre-made for us. I mean, you can make any rose look. So our eyeshadow palettes, this is the only one that comes pre-made, is our spring palette. The rest of them, you can get a single, four, six, like this one, you choose all your colors, or 18. You want to get 18? Okay, get 18. But you pick... All of the colors. All the colors you want. And you have this little thing. And like I said, once you... Oh, we're going to use antique bar thing. Instead of... Oh, no, that one's kind of dark. So use all the colors you want. All right. So let's... What color had I picked out? No, these are two. Pretty Penny is a shimmery brown I got copper Ooh, you know which one actually would work good huh. copper and the naked two palette that's the color we're gonna go with oh I gotta bring a napkin so I'm wiping everything on my pants so we're gonna add that to the crease oh it's chopper haha <laughs> Not copper, it's chopper. It's coppery looking. So. And I just think that's a pretty penny would be. Kind of coppery looking. A lot of colors. I'm going to try to blend them all. There we go. I get this one. Okay. I'm gonna get an actual blending brush. I'm try to blend some of this. I love these. Got this from Sephora. Whole kit. Super um, cheap. It's the blending brush. Love these brushes. A little old, but 
We're just gonna kind of blend this all together. Okay. Could probably use some brown. So we're gonna put some brown highlight. Our gel eyeliner pencils. I'm gonna regret this after I do it because these don't come off. <laughs> you wanna see? So we're gonna do a little line. Okay, and we're gonna let that sit while I put my eyeliner on here. And then these glide on super smooth. If I could put eyeliner on, that would be helpful. Which is not easy to do on a phone. So if you wanted to smudge it, you do it right away. Like this right here on the bottom lash, that's why it's a little softer. I put it on and then I smudge it out because, oh, is that work? I didn't want dark eyeliner. So our gel pencils come black, brown, and neutral. Now I know what I was thinking when they first came out. I'm like, why do I need a neutral one? What am I going to do with the neutral one? And I actually love the neutral one you put on your waterline. <laughs> and it makes you look more awake when you're not... And then, of course, we have black, which is the first one I got because black eyeliner is my favorite. So, three colors. You want to see? You can see I'm rubbing. <laughs> and this is after about 15, 30 seconds. This will stay on. This will stay on all day. This bottom liner is from all day. I have allergies. It's hot. I scratch my eyes all the time. And this survived from this morning. I could probably go to sleep and wake up and that would still be on. Hey Lily. So yeah. I could probably get a makeup wipe and it won't come off. There's that one. Here's the nude will probably be a little harder to see. Last time I did the live the black broke off and smudged and made me look like a liar. <laughs> Until I put on the other hand and then I fixed. So there are the colors. So brown, neutral, and black. All the gel eyeliners, they go on super smooth. We'll let those set a second, and then I'll try to wipe them off and see if they come off. So let's set this with a nice fall color. So, first, I'm looking for Cocoa Teeny. It's a little bit of a darker one. So we have Salted Caramel, which is really pretty. Really pretty fall. And it just fell. And, okay. I'm really digging for my cocoa teeny, so I'm gonna go with salted caramel. Okay, and then yeah, because I don't want to be able to do it on the phone. So it's not as dark as I want it, but that's okay. Just put on real quick just so you can to finish the look my fall look let's add a little bronzer so all right so this came in my kit uh not the transition powder i just changed it out because this is what i use every day I took out one of the blushes. I got two blushes. I got the shimmer and then I got a matte one and then a bronzer. So it came to my kit. This is, I think, 60 some dollars to get three. As you can bundle and save. <laughs> and they're 24 each. So um, very little goes a long way. I'm just going to put a little just to add a little bit of color. Just not normally wear for bronzer, but just right now, just for. And it's a little shimmery. Because that's what came with the kit at the time. I think now, when you order the medium kit, you get a darker one. So I'm going to get that later. But, so see. So I'd, like I said, I didn't use all Lime Life product on my eye. I only have one of the colors. But here's what you can look. I used something comparable. So here's a good fall look. 
So we can set you up with the personalized eyeshadow palette. You can tell me what colors you like. We can, um, I can show you the products that they pre-made some pa palettes. I think I showcased four. We do have a few more. So I can definitely get you guys set up with that. And then Friday, my maze box will be here. Make sure to tune in for that to see what's in our subscription box this month, okay? If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Let me know and I can answer any questions you have. You want to be color match for this great foundation that will last you all day. <laughs> and then um, this is what's over it, is our translucent powder. So this alone is 24 bucks. You can get in a duo for probably 42, something like that. I know it's cheaper when you, the more you buy, the more you save. And then the three is like 60 something. Um, and you can also get a six palette. So it's just three more on the bottom. Um, but this I think is a great combo to have the translucent powder, a blush, and a bronzer. Great things, easy to carry, just like this. So, okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.